just chilling. And, you know, I was really waiting for the AP polls to come out because you know I was I was just you know ready to see what they was on rankers at. And once I seen it, you know, very excited, but just not satisfied because I know as the season goes on, we could possibly get higher ranked. And, you know, just not just us being ranked, just helping us stay uh, confident. I should say. I think Coach mentioned that during fall camp, he said that you guys were a top 25 team. So, what did it mean to kind of have him instill that confidence in you from the start to something you can actually achieve on the field? Well, really, we we had that already built in us, you know, before he even told us that. We knew our capability and what we were as a team and as a whole. So, you know, we just really had to just take it in our mind and just just like you know go out there and play and just showcase that you know that we could be a top 25 team and just show our skills really. What about the opportunity that presents itself on, you know, uh, Saturday, a top 10 team that you're facing? And uh, what do you think you learned maybe a few months ago from what, when you guys last faced Ohio State, you know, some more guys? Uh, really, we just can't really have any mistakes, you know, going against, like, big teams, especially top 10 teams, you know, we can't really have any mistakes. And we have to win, like, the turnover, turnover battles, you know, and just really be real efficient and just move the ball and just have that, that chemistry going into the game. You know, we can't really be off on the same, like, on different pages, really. We have to be all on the same page. That's the only way you can win, especially against a big team like Penn State. You guys have had the opportunity to play some in front of some very raucous crowds, uh, Michigan State and uh, Nebraska, but now this is uh, amping up even more so with 100,000 plus. What have you guys learned on how to implement your offense and run your offense in those kinds of situations? Uh, really, really just, you know, taking it play by play, taking it play by play, like taking our time and just, you know, just playing our game, really. We can't really let the crowd affect us because, you know, we, we know what we came here to do. We came here to win, you know, like having that crowd, the loud crowd, that's just part of the game. So, you know, to me, I feel like that's just helping us stay more in tune and just, you know, once we make a big play and shutting the crowd out, that's just something we like to do. So I feel like, you know, that's just something we, we, we've been playing with all season and we're not, you know, not scared to run, uh, scared to play in front of them. See Mike uh, going down, obviously a little bit of, blow, of a blow, but you have a, a very experienced backup in, you know, Peyton. It's basically split time this season. The value of that and how you guys kind of rally around him from here on out. Uh, really, you know, we always had faith in Peyton, even when, you know, he wasn't the starter. You know, every time he comes in the game, he, when, when Mike goes out, we have no doubt in our mind that he can't get the job done. Like, like I said before, he's been here before. He's like a senior, so, you know, he he knows what, what goes on. He knows what's, what's happening, so I uh, really, Every time he's in the game, I'm just, you know, waiting for him to make the play and just help this team win.